Hey everyone, Jason Hill here. Hey, Chef Jason. Anyway, I was at Costco the other day and I was just doing the little food samples that they always do and they had these frozen, you bake in the oven, stuffed zucchini boats. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're delicious. They had an Italian sausage in them, some cheeses, some fresh herbs. So I've got my fresh herb garden with my fresh herbs. We've got some cheese, some sausage. So let me show you how we make it. Okay, I have three medium zucchinis here. This stuffing is enough to make like anywhere from four to six. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go right down the center lengthwise and scrape out the pulp. I just use a spoon, Let's see if I don't block the camera here. And you wanna leave about a quarter inch of the, let's just call it the shell, when you're making your boat. And you're gonna set aside the pulp because we're actually going to chop that up as part of the stuffing. There we go. There's your canoe. Okay, after you have the pulp removed, it's time to just give it a nice rough chop. So that's about the chop you want right there. All right, let's go ahead and chop up our herbs. I have fresh flat leaf Italian parsley, a small bunch here that you're going to want enough after it's chopped up for about a third cup because this goes into the mix and you can use it as a garnish at the end as well. Okay, there's our parsley. That's good enough. Let's get over here and get our basil. A little small bunch. You'll want enough fresh basil for about two tablespoons or so. Um, if you don't have fresh basil, the dried basil, you can use about two teaspoons, which is fine. And then here's the oregano. I got just enough out of my garden. It's starting to turn. The season is saying goodbye to the oregano. And once again, enough for about two tablespoons or so. Okay, I have my saute pan preheating on a medium. I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil in there. Next, I'm gonna add the hot Italian sausage. And I'm using a turkey sausage. I know some people go, oh, that's not sausage, but it's a little bit leaner, and I'm used to it now. Get our sausage going. Kind of break it up as you're cooking it. Okay, after we've browned up a little bit of the sausage, or browned it up some, we're gonna add our chopped zucchini pulp. And we're gonna cook this for about another six to eight minutes. And you don't have to use Italian hot sausage. You can use any type of sausage you like. Okay, before we add the rest of the ingredients, go ahead and try and uh, get as much of the juice out of the pan as you can. You can use a turkey baster, but it's actually not working because the little pieces of zucchini are getting in there. <laughs> no, it's working okay. You just gotta skim the top. Just try and get as much as you can out of there. For the last little bit, I just like to mop it up with a couple of paper towels and there we're good. Now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of my garlic shallot puree or a clover two of garlic if you like. Stir that in there nice. Good. Next we're going to add a good cup of diced tomatoes. These were two small tomatoes. Get those in there. Followed by freshly grated Parmesan. That was about a half a cup. Panko breadcrumbs, one cup. And then quarter teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper, quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes if you like, and then a little quarter teaspoon of uh, kosher salt. All right, we're almost done. Now we're finally just gonna add our fresh herbs, get our basil in there, let's get our oregano in there, and then about half of the parsley that we chopped up. And we're just gonna stir this in and it's ready to add to the boats. Okay, it's time to load the boats. I put the 
boats on a pre-greased cooking sheet. And we're just going to scoop enough in there for each one. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be pretty. It's okay if you spill some over. Just pick them up and put them back in. Man overboard. Okay, as you can see, I have some leftovers, but that's, like I said, you have enough for four to six. And uh, we are ready for the oven. All right, I'm doing these in my little convection oven because it doesn't get as hot as my big oven. You can even put these out on your grill if you want to. And the convection oven's at 375. I'm gonna open her up, place these guys in here. And we're gonna go about 12 minutes. All right, I actually had them in there for about 16 minutes. And the zucchini's getting tender. And we're gonna place some shredded mozzarella cheese on top for our final five minutes of cooking. Nice little garnish here. It's like a sausage pizza with a healthy crust, right? <laughs> if I can get my daughter to eat this, I will be so happy. Okay, we're going back in the oven for about five minutes or until your cheese is melted. Okay, we are ready. The zucchini is tender. The final thing we're gonna do is do a little garnish. And all we're doing here is I took a cup of balsamic vinegar and I boiled it down to about a third cup. And I'm just gonna drizzle the top with a little bit of this wonderful reduction. And yep, I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this fresh parsley from the heavens. Okay, it's time to give this a try. Zucchini's nice and tender. We want to get some of that balsamic dripping on there. Here we go. Oh. Mm. The zucchini's still a little al dente. The flavor of the sausage mix with this balsamic, it's a great recipe. If you're looking for a way to get zucchini into your diet, give this recipe a try. And as always, thanks for tubing in.